In this video, I'm going to take a look at how to solve a system of three linear equations in three unknowns using the equation function on a sharp um, ELW506T calculator. Now, um, that looks like this. I'm pretty sure that this function is very similar on most sharp calculators. So if you have a sharp calculator that is different from this model, um, but has an equation function, it probably works in the same way. Um, before we begin to use this function on the calculator, it's very important that you make sure that your three linear equations are in the general form. So we have the x term first, the y term second, the z term third, equals the constant on the right hand side. So this is the general form, okay? So I check through my three equations and they are all in general form, so they are ready to go. This is equation number one. We have equation number two and equation number three with an A, a B, a C, and a D value for each one. So let's take a look at the calculator. The calculator is now in normal mode and in order to get it into equation mode we have to press the mode button mode and you can see the different modes that this calculator has normal stat table complex equation and just so we can see that it has a few, couple more in case you have to check your calculator arrow down you will see more modes down there and they vary based on uh, different models of the sharp calculator so i'm just going to go back because i want to use the equation mode which requires me to enter a four now, in equation mode, there are four different types of equations that this calculator will solve. The two by twos, so two value, three by threes, three value, quadratic and cubic equations. So we are doing the three value equations. And so I need to press a one to get it in that mode. And you can see that it's now sitting here waiting for me to enter in A1 and B1, which are the A and B values from the first equation, which are 2 and negative 3. So I will enter 2, hit equals. Make sure you enter negative 3 with the negative button, not subtraction, but the negative 3 and equals in between each value. Now we're waiting for C1 and D1 which are 2 and 18. So 2, enter, 18, enter. We're down to the second equation, which we're looking at the a2, b2 values, which are negative 3 and 1. So negative 3 here and 1 for b2. c2 and d2 are negative 3 and negative 13. Negative 3, enter. Negative 13, enter. We're on the third equation now, a3 and b3, which are 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 equals. And c3 and d3, which are 2 and 9. So 2, enter. 9, enter. And you can see the results are there. x is first. It's a 1, y is negative 4, z is 2. We'll write our solution. 1, negative 4, 2 for the x, y, z. The determinant, if needed, is negative 7. But when we're solving, it isn't necessary to have the determinant. You just want the three values that when substituting into each of the equations, they make each equation true. So this is the solution to the system. Um, the next thing you will want to do after you finish using your calculator in equation mode is put it in back into regular mode. So mode zero for normal. And you're back to being able to make regular calculations. And that's all. Thanks for watching.